Happy Wednesday, Wildfire CrossFit. Coach Tiffany here to give you your Wednesday workout. We're going to do our warm-up. We've got three rounds, 20 air squats. Squat all the way down, all the way up. Get those hips below your knees. Spread the floor, chest up. If you need to scale this, grab a box or a bench. Right, and sit down, stand up. Then you're going to do good mornings. Put your hands on your hips, chest up. Hips go back. Legs stay nice and straight, a little soft on those knees. But you're making sure that that back stays nice and flat. Then you're going to go Cossack squats. Get a nice deep squat on that side. Slide to the other side. Get a good stretch in both directions. If you need to adjust that, use your bench or chair. Put that leg up there. Push right into it. Get a good flex, hip flexor stretch. Calf, ankles both directions, both legs. Then we've got dive bombers. You're going to go from that top of the push-up position. You're going to lead with that chest, dive down, and come up. Back to the top of the push-up, dive down that chest, and come up. Even if you got to go from those knees, you're working on leading with that chest first, but going all the way through that range of motion. You can also do that on that bench or chair. So you get that chest and up. Then you've got mule kicks. Tip over, touch the ground, kick that leg right behind you. Get that heel as high as you can. Again, to adjust, if you want to use that bench or that box, you can do those good or those mule kicks right there. Awesome. That's your warm up. Do three rounds. Then we're going right into deadlifts. We're going to work on strength in that deadlift today. So if you've got that barbell, you're going to load up some weight, get those shins against that bar. Core is tight. You're set in this position before you go down and grab that bar. Shoulders are back. Come down, grab that bar, make sure that that back is flat. You're pulling that bar through your body. Everything is tight. Then stand up. Tip over, guide that bar against your legs. Slide it down your shins, bend those knees after that bar goes past your knees. Tap right back up. Three of those deadlifts, then if you've got weight, add some weight after a rest and repeat it. You're going to do five sets of three. Then if you've got a lighter weight or different objects, so if you're doing a kettlebell or dumbbell, you're going to do six of those deadlifts. You can take that kettlebell or dumbbell with you on that good morning for seven good mornings, more straight legs. And then bring that kettlebell or dumbbell down and do that mule kick. Okay, go nice and fast on that mule kick. You're going to go eight total. So six, seven, eight. Do that two and a half minutes every two and a half minutes for seven or eight rounds. Okay, you'll still feel this in those glutes and hamstrings. Get a good strength and muscle building workout. Awesome. After you get through that strength, we're going right into a classic CrossFit workout. We've got Diane today. Diane is 21-15-9 for the rep scheme of two movements. Deadlifts and handstand push-ups. Okay, so you've got the deadlifts. You're going to do 21 of those. And you can use a different object if you have it. So you can use kettlebell or dumbbell for the weight on this. You've got 225 and 155 as Rx. Again, use the objects that you have. If you've got, if you've got, uh, don't really have an object to do deadlifts, you can do more of a body weight version which I'll go over here in just a second. After deadlifts, for the first version, you're going to do a handstand push-up. OK? 
Okay, so that handstand push up, if you have a box or a bench, something that you can put your feet onto, or if you've got a safe spot to go up against a wall, you can do that. This is a good modification for if you don't have a spot for that and you still want to work on those handstand push-ups. Put those knees on that object or toes. Come up this way. You're going to push that head to the ground. Push through. And work on those handstand push-ups. Okay. Another version of that handstand push-up would be a pike push-up. So you're in that down dog position. Still touching that head to the ground, still pushing your head through the window, getting that upside down and shoulder work. You can also, if you need to scale down and not go upside down at all, go regular push-ups. On the non-weighted version, or even if you've got a light weight for the, for the other version that we have for you, 2159 weighted mule kicks. And those pike push-ups. So the weighted mule kicks we did for the demo for the strength. Whatever object that you have, you're going to go down and kick behind you. Okay? But you're going 21 each leg, then 21 pike push-ups, 15 each leg on those mule kicks, 15 pike push-ups, 9 each leg mule kicks, 9 handstand push-ups or those pike push-ups. Okay, those mule kicks, and again, if you need to, you can grab that box to do it that way, or you're going down all the way to the ground, and again, if you've got weight, you're here, going down to that ground, getting that mule kick that way. All right, this is meant to be fast and furious. Good, fast time on this. Stay focused. Chip away at those 21, 15, 9. Just keep moving. It'll be over fast. Keep that intensity up. Breathe through your movements. At that top of the deadlift, exhale, inhale again. Top of that handstand push-up, whatever version you're doing, give it a good exhale and get some breath in there. Have fun with this. It's going to be awesome. We're excited to see you Wednesday, whether it's in person or online. We have both options still. And either way, we'd love to see you. Have an awesome Wednesday.